If you have upgraded recently to Angular 17 or are thinking of doing so, this video is for you. There is a new much improved ES build based build system in the Angular CLI, but the problem is it's not on by default. You probably are not leveraging the latest capabilities of the Angular CLI. To upgrade to the new ES build system, you probably have to do some small code changes in your application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate your existing application to the new ES build system and I'm going to show you the performance benefits that I gained in my application in terms of bundle size. So without further ado, let's get started with this Angular urgent update video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Angular University channel, I'm Vasco. So what is this all about? As you know, in the latest Angular 17, there were significant changes to the Angular CLI, including a new, much faster ES build Angular CLI build system. It's a good idea to migrate to this new build system. It's going to make your application more future proof. It turns out that if you are not building a new application and you are instead upgrading an existing one, just upgrading to the Angular 17 version will not turn on the new ES build. Now, when I first initially did my upgrade, I thought that I had the new build on because the Angular CLI was all of a sudden significantly faster than in Angular 16. It turns out that that is true, but that doesn't mean that the new ES build system is on. You need to migrate to it. There is a migration um, command in the Angular CLI to do that. So first of all, I'm going to show you the bundle size before the new ES build system with Angular 17.1. Then I'm going to show you how to migrate to the new ES build system. Then I'm going to show you the main bundle size after the migration to the new ES build system. And I'm going to walk you through the code changes that I had to make to my code base in order to make my application work with the new uh, ES build system. All right. So if you are curious, what is this uh, code base? This is the code for my startup onlinecoursos.com. It's a course platform. All right. So then let's get started. I'm going to assess the bundle before the changes. So npm run bundle dash report. And what this does is it triggers the, the build in production mode and it opens the source map explorer so that we see what is the current state of our bundles. Now I'm going to leave this run for a while because the default build of the um, Angular 17 version, well, the old build that we were using from Angular 16, it's significantly slower in production mode. So give me a moment for this to build. It will take a couple of minutes. All right, and after a couple of minutes, here is the bundle report that I have. I have a combined 10.83 megabytes uncompressed and my main bundle size, let me increase here the font size here in the browser. Here is my main bundle size. It's 2.27 megabytes, so it's quite big. In production, this is about 500, 600K compressed. That's what I currently have, which is much better than I used to have. But next, I'm going to upgrade to the new ES build and we are going to compare the results, the size of our main bundle before and after. All right, so how do we turn on the new ES build system? You have here a couple of alternatives. If you check here the Angular documentation, you're going to see that you have a new builder called application. This is going to be used for new applications, but not for the old ones. And you have a new browser dash ES build. Now, one thing that you can do if you don't want to migrate by some reason to the new uh, application builder, you can go here to your configuration and instead of browser here in the builder for your front end, you can uh, use browser dash ES build. I didn't do this. I went ahead and I did the upgrade to the recommended new application builder. All right. So this implies several changes in your angular.json. You have here the details if you need by some reason to do them manually. But most of all, in Angular 17.1, and you need to upgrade to Angular 17.1 for this, 17.0 alone won't do it. In Angular 17.1, you have a new application builder migration. 
from the Angular CLI. So you need to go here to your command line and you need to run this command. And this is going to change your application. It's going to change your angular.json and your tsconfig.json uh, and you will be using the new yes build system but it turns out in the particular case of my application that was not um, enough so let me show you here the changes that i needed to apply let's see here in version control all right so we do have here some changes in uh, angular.json you can see here this was taken care of by the Angular CLI migration. There is also here uh, a changes in tsconfig.json. This was also taken care of by the Angular CLI migration. So what I mean by that, this migration here, this one, the application builder migration took care of that. All right. So what else did we have to do here to make this work? I needed to change several of the imports in my application because they were not uh, compatible with the new ES build system. So let me show you here an example. For example, I was using this uh, copy to clipboard uh, package. So instead of importing this with uh, uh, require, which was not uh, um, a great practice anyway, but you probably have this in your code somewhere because the previous build didn't throw errors in this situation. So you need to change this to import copy from copy to clipboard. So this is the import before, this is the import after, and you need to do this for your multiple required imports if you have any. Remember, it was never a good idea to use this in your application anyway, but now it's a great opportunity to remove all of this and make your application much faster. So the same thing goes here. You need to fix your imports. And other than that, I did not have to do anything special. So now let's go ahead and let's run the bundle report again. And you will notice that this time around, I am not going to fast forward the production build just to show you how much faster the production build actually is with the new ES build system. It's uh, much faster. I mean, it's already finished. So you can see here the size of the new bundle. So there is a slight decrease in the total amount of JavaScript, but most of all, the main production bundle that I see here is much, much smaller. You can see it here. I'm going to zoom in so that you can actually see. So here it is, the main chunk here in production. It's significantly smaller. And let me quickly show you what it looks like in production to use these new uh, ES build bundles. So you can see that if we sort here, um, if we filter by uh, JavaScript files and we sort here, we get here the main application bundle. So as you can see, the main chunk is much smaller, but then unlike the typical output that we have seen so far from the Angular CLI, we got here a lot more chunks, even in production mode. This is normal for the ES build output. This is meant to be used in a server that supports HTTP2. So if your server does not support HTTP2, the AES build output would actually not be beneficial. It would actually harm the performance of your application to have this many chunks in production. But if your server serves, uh, if your server supports HTTP2, then this is not a problem at all. I use uh, CloudFront and uh, bundles are hosted on Amazon AWS S3. So those support HTTP2 without uh, any problem. And I think that most providers support HTTP2 nowadays. So using the new Yes build should cause you no problem at all. So in summary, this is how you upgrade your application to use the new Angular CLI ES build. You run the migration, you adapt certain imports in your code, and that's it. You have a much faster production build, and you have a production setup that is adapted to your HTTP2 server. 
that you are probably already using so you can give a nice little boost to the startup performance of your application. I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, please give me a like here on the Angular University YouTube channel. Let me know what other content you would like to see. And if you are looking to learn Angular, then check out here my courses at the Angular University. You have available here courses for all levels from beginner to advanced. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Cheers.